Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at four new things that are added to Laravel version 9.48.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this without foreign key constraint to disable the foreign key constraint in a callback. Suppose let's say I have two tables. One is the users table. This is the users table. And let's say I also have posts table and they are related to each other. You can see here user ID over here, which means that one user can have many posts and they are related to each other using a foreign key constraint. In such scenario, if we try to drop the users table, then it will not allow us to do that because post is related to that user. But we could do that using some workaround. Let me show you that. So here currently I am here in the Tinkerwell app. So here, let's say I am trying to drop these users. If the user table exists, then we'll drop it. Then if I run it, then you can see here it is saying me that cannot drop the table users referenced by a foreign key constraint post user id on the post table so in order to solve this issue before we had to do this we had to write this disable foreign key constraint before dropping the table and enable the foreign keys in such scenario it will actually drop the users and don't care about any foreign key constraints so now if i run it then you can see here the table is now dropped and here if I try to access let's say DV and let's say table users or we can just use the user model as well then if I just try to find the count over here let me just remove it and run it then you can see here base table or view not found so currently the users table does not exist so before we had to do it like this but now there is this new method which is this without foreign key constraint and inside it we have to write this inside a closure we don't have to write both of these internally it will automatically enable sorry disable and enable the foreign key after this operation has been performed so let me just run php artisan migrate fresh and seed one more time and let me just show you this one okay for now so if i run it then you can see here there are 11 users and now let me just write it over here and comment it out and now let me try to run it then you can see here base table or view not found which means that it has dropped the users and then we try to get the count of the users and it is saying us that table is not found because we have dropped the table over here and there was no any foreign key issue because we used this new method which is present in the schema class and this feature has been contributed by phs now let us move to the second thing which is add increment each to the query builder so let me again seed one more time the data. So here, let me go inside the Lara tips. And here, if I just refresh, then in the first user, this Lara tips, we have this cache out and cache in. So these are just two random columns that I have added in order to demonstrate this example. So let's say 100 and let's say here also 100. So cache out and cache in 100. Now suppose let's say we wanted to increment both cash out and cash in then how we had to do it before so let's say so here like this let me just comment this out and here before so here if we want to do it then we had to do it like this using this increment method obviously we can find the user and set the both values and then save but by using the increment method we had to do it two times like this we had to find the user and update it twice it will add two to the cash in and it will add 5 to the cash out we have 100 so let me just uncomment it so that it will give us the final result let me run it then you can see here this is 105 and 102 which has been increased from 100 but now there is this increment is method let me show you this and comment this out there is this increment each method by which we can just update both these values using a single query before we had to run two queries but now it will run only one query and then increment both of these so here so it must be seven and it must also be seven so both will be seven okay if i run it you can see here it is absolutely correct and this feature is contributed by iman now let us move to the third thing which is this add not found helper to the http client response so this is the http facade by which we can do http request so there isn't a hello url on the laratips.test now if i just try to get it and get the status from here and if it is the status 404 which means if the url is not present then it will return true 
so you can see here true by this because we are returning this but instead of this now there is this not found method which does exactly the same thing so if i run it then you can see here true but this laratips.test it is present and if i run it then it will give us false and thank you so much for watching till the end guys and if you want me to create more and more videos like this then don't forget to support the channel by giving a super thanks so thank you for watching have a great day bye